Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> it's Wednesday, and um, yeah, we're, we're in the book of Mark, so I wanted to finish that up, um, or finish wh where I left off and get started on another chapter. Um, so be praying always before you hear God's word. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I haven't heard from a lot of people, so you must be busy, and that's fine. Um, I still keep putting out videos for as long as, as I'm able to, or as long as, you know, they, as long as I want, I guess. Um, <clears throat> and, um, uh, just did some music, um, doing a little bit, you know, different, um, genre, different era. <laughs> I just did last night, uh, La Vie en Rose, and, um, one of the best, best, French, female French singers, anyway, I think, um, Edith Piaf, P-I-A-F, I think that's how you say it, and uh, just a little petite mama, <laughs> you know, and um, she, uh, um, uh, you know, sings it on my, on my Facebook, I, I put a couple of posts of her singing, you could just Google her and, and you can hear her uh, doing it live and in English too, which is really nice. Um, and uh, I discovered it after I did the song. I was looking at um, uh, French Kiss soundtrack and movie, and I was looking at the movie. I love the movie. I think it's just, I think it's cute. And uh, I, you know, I'm a romant, romantic, uh, romance person, if you will, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm romantic, yeah. <laughs> and I, I like those films. Um, I'm getting more and more as I get older away from all this, you know, shoot 'em up cowboy, bang bang crap, you know. Um, I just, yeah. Um, I like drama. Uh, I like real life stuff. I don't like fantasy too much. Um, anyway, yeah, that's me. So um, um, today, I would like if you guys can take the time out to love yourself a little bit. Um, when I say love yourself and when God says it, he doesn't mean be conceited about it or, you know, haughty or, you know, uh, arrogant. He means to be, to love yourself, to care about yourself, to give yourself a time out, go in and, you know, enjoy a cup of coffee or tea or, um, you know, go for a stroll or just go outside and just enjoy nature and, and, you know, wherever you're at. Uh, for me, I love going to the beach. It just, I just love it. Uh, or I love just going for a nice drive and being out in nature. Um, if, you know, if I was near a park or something, I'd go for a stroll. Uh, just do something nice for yourself. Take time out to do that for yourself. It's so important. Okay, so we are, uh, I finished, uh, I left off at chapter 11 verse 30. So let me just finish those few verses. Um, and it's about Christ who, uh, we're at the point where Christ is riding into Jerusalem. Uh, he um, curses the fig tree and, um, and he um, lashes out at the priest. So 30, verse 30 is the baptism of John is from heaven or is it of men? They were trying to bait him again. And they reasoned with themselves, saying, if we shall say from heaven, he will say, wait, hold on, sorry, uh, let me go back. Um, and, and let me go back up one, one verse. And Jesus answered them and said, I will also ask you one question. Uh, answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. So then he's saying the baptism of John, was it, was it from heaven? or of men, answer me. And they reason among them, themselves, saying, if we say it's from heaven, he will say, why then didn't you believe him? And if we say it's from men, they feared the people, and all men counted John that he was a prophet indeed. So there was no debate about it. And they answered and said unto Jesus, we cannot tell, and Jesus said, well then, neither can I tell you by what authority I do these things. So, okay, so chapter 12. The parable of the vineyard touching the, the 
and the praying of tribute, paying of tribute, tribute, sorry. Um, and he began to speak unto them by parables. Certain men planted a vineyard and set a hedge about it and digged a place for the wine fat and built a tower and let it out to the husbandmen and went into a far country. And at the season he went into the husbandmen a servant that he might receive from the husbandmen of the fruit of the vineyard. And they caught him and beat him and sent him away empty. And again he sent unto them another servant, and at him they cast stones and wounded him in the head and sent him away shamefully handed, handled. And again he, he sent another and, and him that they killed and many others beating some and killing some, and having yet therefore one son, his well beloved, he sent him also last unto them, saying, They will reverence my son, so that they wouldn't dare, you know. But those husbandmen said among themselves, This is the heir, come, let us kill him, and the inheritance will be ours. And they took him and killed him and cast him out of the vineyard. What shall therefore the Lord of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the husbandmen and will give the vineyard unto others. And have you not read this scripture, the stone which the builders re reject is become the head of the cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous in our eyes. And he sought to lay hold on him, but feared the people, for they knew that he had spoken the parable against them, and they left him and went their way. So they're just, you know, seething. And they sent unto him certain of the Pharisees and of the Herodonians, and catch him in his words. And when they were come, they said unto him, Master, we know that thou art true, and carest for no man, for thou regardest not the person of men, but treacherous the way of God in truth. It is lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not. Shall we give or shall we not give? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, said unto them, Why tempt me ye? Bring me a penny that I may see it. And so they brought it, and they said unto them, Whose image and subscription? And they said to him, Caesar's. And Jesus answered unto them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. Then came unto him the Sadducees, which say there is no resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Master, Moses wrote unto us, If a man's brother die, and leave his wife behind him, and leave no children, and his brother should take his wife, and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were seven brethren, and the first took the wife, and the dying left no seed, and the second took her and died, and left neither left he any seed, and the third likewise, and the seven had her, and left no seed. Last of all, the women died also. In the resurrection, therefore, when, sh when they shall arise, whose wife shall she be of them? For the seven had her to wife. And Jesus answered, said unto them, Do you not therefore err? Do ye not therefore err, because you know not the scriptures, neither the power of God? For when they shall rise from the dead, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels which are in heaven. So see, we can become angels. <clears throat> as as touching the dead w that they arise they ye not oh, sorry have ye not read in the book of Moses how in the bush God spoke unto him saying I am the God of Abraham and God of Isaac and the God of Jacob he is not the God of the dead but the God of the living yea therefore do greatly error So they're still alive, okay? 
And one of the scribes came in, and having heard them reason together, perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, which is the first commandment of all? And Jesus answered him, the first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord of our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord God with all of thy heart, all of thy soul, with all of thy mind, and with all of thy strength. This is the first commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, your soul, with all your strength. <laughs> okay, and the second is like, Namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. So love yourself. It's a good thing. Okay. And the scribe said unto him, Well, master, thou hast said the truth. And there, there is one God, there is none other but he. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all soul, and with all strength, and to love his neighbor as himself is more than all the whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered discreetly and said unto him, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God, and no man after that durst asked him any questions. And Jesus answered and said, and he taught in the temple how the scribes that Christ... Uh, how say the scribes that Christ is the son of David? For David himself said by the Holy Ghost, the Lord said to my Lord, sit on my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. They, David therefore himself called him Lord, and whence he is then his son, right? And so the common people heard him gladly. And he said unto, the, unto them, in this doctrine, beware the scribes which love to go in long clothing, love salutations in the marketplace, chief seats in the synagogues and the uppermost rooms at the feast, which devour widows' houses for repentance, make long prayers. These shall receive greater damnation. And Jesus sat over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury, and many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow, and she threw in two mites, which make a far farthing. And he called unto him his disciples, and said unto him, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury, for all they did cast in of their abundance. But she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all of her living. Amen. So, I hope that that's a blessing to you. I hope that you have a great Wednesday. Again, remember, treat yourself well. Okay, love you. Bye.